Welcome back to Mr. Scott Maths. In this video, we're going to take a look at finding the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of pairs of numbers using Venn diagrams. Though if there are any other topics you'd like me to cover, just leave a comment down below and I'll get to that video as soon as I can. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any future videos. So when we're finding a highest common factor, what we could do is we could list out the factors of each of these numbers and then find the highest number that's in both lists, or with our lowest common multiple, we could similarly list out the multiples of each of the numbers and find the lowest one that's in both lists. But when we get to some slightly bigger numbers, that becomes a little bit more tricky. So what we can do instead is use prime factors and Venn diagrams to find our highest common factor and lowest common multiple. So the first thing we need to do is find our prime factors. And to do this, we can draw out a prime factor tree. So let's draw out a prime factor tree of 18. Well, a prime factor tree we get by splitting 18 up into two numbers that we can multiply together to get 18. Let's go with 2 and 9, because 2 multiplied by 9 gives us 18. Now we need to see, are these two numbers prime numbers? Well, 2 is a prime number, so we can't split that up anymore. That's a prime number because we can only divide it by 1 and itself. However, 9 is not a prime number. We can split 9 up again, and we can split it up into 3 and 3. However, both 3 and 3 are going to be prime numbers, so we have to stop there. So we can make 18 by doing 2 times 3 times 3. Now let's do the same with 24. Let's split 24 up into two numbers that we can multiply together to make 24. Well, let's go for 6 and 4. We could have picked 3 and 8. We could have picked 12 and 2. It would have been exactly the same. We would have got the same answer overall. Now 6 is not a prime number, we can split 6 up again, and we can split that into 3 and 2. And both of those, as we've seen before, are prime numbers. And we can split 4 up into 2 and 2. 2 times 2, of course, gives us 4. And those 2s, of course, are going to be prime numbers. So 24, we can make 24 with 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we've written both of these two numbers out in their prime factor forms, as their product of prime factors. Now we've got those products of prime factors, we need to put them into a Venn diagram. So our Venn diagram is going to have one circle for 18, and another overlapping circle for 24. And we need to put these prime factors into this Venn diagram. Well, first of all, we need to fill in the intersection. Now, the intersection is going to contain any numbers that are in both of these two lists of numbers. Well, we've got a 2 in both, so we can put a 2 in the intersection, and we'll cross it off to know that we've used it. We've also got a 3 that's in both lists. So we put it in the intersection, and we cross it off to say that we've used it. Now, we've only got a 3 left in this 18, and we've got two 2s left in the 24. So they're going to go inside their own circles, but not in the intersection. So this 3 will go in here, and we'll cross it off to say we've used it. And these two 2s are going to go in here in the 24 circle. Now that we've filled out our Venn diagram, we can find our highest common factor by multiplying together all the numbers in this intersection. Well, in this case, that's just going to be 2 multiplied by 3. So our highest common factor for 18 and 24 will be 6. Now for our lowest common multiple, we have to multiply all of the numbers that are in our Venn diagram. And the reason we've got these two in our intersection here is so that we don't end up counting them twice. So our lowest common multiple will be 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 and multiplied by another 2. Our 3 times 2 gives us 6, multiplied by 3 gives us 18, multiplied by 2 gives us 36, and multiplied by another 2 will give us 72. So our lowest common multiple for 18 and 24 is 72. Now if we could have done that, of course, by listing out our factors or listing out our multiples, but again, like I say, it just becomes that little bit more tricky, especially with our lowest common multiples when we're listing out with bigger numbers. OK, let's try to do that again, but this time with 18 and 45. So again, first of all, we need to do our prime factor trees. Now, last time when we had 18, I split it up originally into 9 and 2. 
Well, I said that we could split it up differently and it will still get the same answer overall. So instead, let's split this into three and six. Three times six still, of course, gives us 18. Well, three is a prime number, so we can stop there, but six is not. We can split six up into two and three. Both of those two are prime numbers, so we stop there. And we still get the same prime factors of three, two, and three. Okay, now let's do 45. Well, we can split 45 up into 15 and three. Three is a prime number, so we stop at this three, but 15 isn't. And we can split 15 up into five and three. Now we've seen already that three is a prime number, Five is also going to be a prime number because, of course, we can only divide it by one and itself. So our prime factors of 18, 3, 2 and 3. So we can write 18 as 3 times 2 times 3. And 45, we can write as 5 times 3 times 3. OK, now we've got to do our Venn diagram. So, of course, we're going to have our two overlapping circles. One circle for 18, one circle for 45, and we've got to start off by filling in our intersection with any numbers that are in both of these two lists of prime factors. Well, what have we got? We've got a 3 in both lists, and let's cross these ones off, so that we've used them, and we've also got another 3 in both lists. And then for just 18, we have this 2, and for just 45, we have this 5. OK, now we've filled out our Venn diagram, we can multiply to get our highest common factor and lowest common multiple. So our highest common factor, of course, that's where we multiply our intersection. So 3 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 9. So our highest common factor for 18 and 45 is going to be 9. And then our lowest common multiple, we've got to multiply all of these together. So 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. So 2 times 3 gives us 6, 6 times 3 gives us 18, and then multiplied by 5 will give us 90. So our lowest common multiple for 18 and 45 will be 90. Okay, here's one for you to have a go at then. So this time we have 30 and 75. Can we use the method that we've just looked at to find the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor? If you want to pause the video for a moment, and I'll go for it in just a second. OK, so first of all, we've got to find our prime factors and draw out our prime factor trees. So let's do 30 first of all, and we could split that up into 6 and 5. You could have also done 10 and 3. It doesn't matter. We're still going to get the same answer overall. Well, 5 is a prime number. We've seen that already. So we stop there, but 6 isn't, and we can split 6 into 3 and 2. And both of those are prime numbers. So we stop there, and 30 we can write as 3 times 2 times 5. Now 75, well we could split that up into 25 and 3. Well 3 is a prime number so we stop there. 25 we can split into 5 and 5. 5 times 5 gives us 25 and 5 is a prime number so we stop at both of these 5s. So 75 as its product of prime factors we can write as 5 times 5 times 3. OK, now we need to do our Venn diagram. So our two overlapping circles. One circle of 30, one circle of 75. And let's look to see what numbers are in both of those lists. Well, we've got a 3 in both of those lists. So we put it in our intersection. And we've also got a 5 in both lists. So that also goes in our intersection. And then what we've got left over, we've still got a 2 for our 30, so 2 goes into the 30 circle, and we've still got another 5 for our 75, which goes in our 75 circle. So our highest common factor, we get by multiplying everything in our intersection. So 3 times 5 will give us 15, so our highest common factor of 30 and 75 is 15. And then our lowest common multiple, we get by multiplying everything in our Venn diagram, so 2 times 3, times 5, times another 5. Well, 2 times 3 gives us 6. 6 times 5 gives us 30. Times by another 5 will give us 100 and 
50. So our lowest common multiple, 30 and 75, should be 150. Make sure to like and subscribe for more maths videos.